just a quick little message, lads. Uh, my 25 Q&A is coming out soon. Just hold on. But unfortunately, I made the hashtag before I actually tried it out. And it doesn't work because there's a symbol in it. So forget about that old hashtag. And I know you guys, uh, a lot of you guys don't have Twitter. So if you want, you can ask the questions below in here. But I prefer if you did go on Twitter. If you're not already following me on Twitter, link's in the description, at Curtis7. And use the hashtag, ask. Curtis. That works better. That will work 110%. I've already tested it. So make sure you use the hashtag Ask Curtis. It's my 25,000 uh, subscriber Q&A and it will be coming out after the Champions League final of my career mode. So lads, get your comments down below. Ask questions, funny questions, stupid questions, real questions, serious questions, whatnot. Anyways, make sure you use the hashtag Ask Curtis. Anyways, let's get to the Gareth Bale video. Got on YouTube, Curtis 7 here, to talk about Gareth Bale. I said I wanted to talk about Manchester United uh, transfers in real life, and uh, the first player I want to talk about is Gareth Bale. I've loved Gareth Bale ever since, you know, he was a, a Tottenham player, you know, coming onto the scene as, as a winger, because we all known him uh, before as a left back. But Harry Redknapp saw the potential in him, stuck him on the wing, and look at that, he was scoring goals left, right, center, and, and ever since then, he's been playing more advanced forward ever since, and look, at he's become a world class player in at the front of our own eyes. Look, at he, he scored the the uh, the winner in the Champions League final for Real Madrid. You know, he scored the winner in the uh, Copa del Rey. You know, he, he mate, this guy is just quality. Now, do I believe will Gareth Bale come to Manchester United? Um, yeah, I do believe that. Will it happen in January? No chance. Will it happen in the summer? Probably not. But I do believe one day he will come to Manchester United. Whether that will be in a season's time, two seasons, three seasons, I'm not too sure. And the reason why I believe so strongly that he uh, could come to Manchester United, you know, there is a possibility for me, is that we got a, a massive player up our sleeve that Madrid want, and that is David De Gea. I do believe if we ever do get Gareth Bale, we're gonna be losing Dave uh, in the opposite direction. De Gea, world-class keeper. Definitely for me, and, and this is not being biased, uh, David De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League at the minute. He is just making ridiculous saves week in, week out. He's Spanish, he's from Madrid. To be honest, lads, it's only a matter of time until he goes back to Spain. And Madrid, they need a keeper to replace Casillas. So it just makes sense. To be honest, lads, it's only a matter of time until he goes back to uh, Spain. So the longer we can keep De Gea, the better. But in saying that, lads, like I'm saying, uh, there's a trick up our sleeves. Uh, Gareth Bale is a, you know, he's from the UK, you know. I'm not, I, I know it's his dream to play for Real Madrid and whatnot, but I don't think he wants to retire there, does he? You know, I think his dream would be to come back to the Premier League and win the Premier League. And the other thing that we have up our sleeve as well, he's already won pretty much everything in Spain. The only thing he hasn't won is the league title. Uh, you know, he's won the Champions League, the Copa del Rey. They're winning trophies left, right, center already. Uh, so I don't think, you know, he has much left to accomplish, um, you know, winning trophies in Spain as, you know, as in England, he's won nothing, you know, there's still the Premier League, you know, there's still, you know, winning the Champions League in England for an English club, you know, so I'm not too sure, I, I do believe there's a chance uh, that we could get Gareth Bale, and not just that, lads, Marco Royce is on the verge of signing for Real Madrid. That's another player right there to replace Gareth Bale if they need be. Now, I'm not saying that's his replacement, if the move's gonna happen 100%, but why would you sell Di Maria and then buy Marco Royce in the first place? Wasn't that the whole point of selling Di Maria? So there's no room for Di Maria, so why would you be getting Marco Royce? It just doesn't make any sense to me, but I do believe, lads, Gareth Bale could be a Manchester United player, but like I said, whether it will happen in this summer or the next summer, I don't, not too sure, but I do believe there is a possibility. Anyways, lads, that's my opinion about Gareth Bale. You know, Van Hal, sign him up. <laughs> but no seriousness, lads, I would love to see Gareth Bale at United. Um, if we do get him, I do believe we're going to be losing De Gea going in the opposite uh, opposite direction. So, uh, that's just my opinion. If you have liked this uh, video and you want, you want me to talk about more about transfer rumors for Manchester United, uh, get the comments down below, leave a thumbs up, and uh, get your comments down below about Gareth Bale, your opinions. Uh, will this move actually happen? Not necessarily uh, in this January window or in the next transfer window, but in general, will will this move ever happen? Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. 
and peace.